Welcome in GetPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can connect Postgres with our GetPHP application. So, for example, you can see I already installed a very fresh GetPHP application in here. This is the version 4. So, now I will just open this source and you can see uh, if you install the GetPHP application via Composer, you will get some files in here. In config, uh, there is a file called app local and there is also a file called app.php so we usually set our environment in app local.php so if you just see in app.php if you set anything in here it will set globally for example if you set, set the database information in here it will override app underscore local.php that already mentioned in here okay so next thing by default you can see that cacphp has given the mysql driver in here so when we will try to connect your database it already uh, use the mysql driver by default so if you want to ch if you want to use the postgres then you first thing that you have to do you have to change this driver i'm just changing this driver mysql to postgres the next thing is very simple you have to just go in app underscore local.php and you have to just add, change your credential for example in in host i have used this uh, localhost ip 127.0.0.1 and username you can set your postgres username for example in my postgres uh, database um, credential that i have the username is postgres the password that I have set is root. And I have a database in Postgres and this you can see the database name also the Postgres. So I'm just going to change this database name, the Postgres. And the last, uh, you have to do nothing, just host name, username, password and database that you have to just set. And after save, if you just go and load your browser, you will see that your database connect has succeeded. That means we are connected with Postgres. So it's very simple, isn't it? So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.